Hello and welcome to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. My name is Terence and in today's video, we're going to go through the process of setting up a dynamic search ad in Google Ads. But before we begin, make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment if there's something you want covered in a future video. Now, the first thing you're probably asking is what is a dynamic search ad? Well, according to Google, dynamic search ads are the easiest way to find customers searching on Google for precisely what you offer. Dynamic search ad headlines and landing pages are automatically generated using content from your website, which keeps your ads relevant and saves you time. All you need to do is add a creative description. Not only that, but dynamic search ads also help you build up a large inventory of search terms, which you can use as keywords in the future. Perhaps something you missed or something you didn't think about that people are searching for. Dynamic search ads can help you find those keywords. For today's video, I'm going to be using the profile tree training account, which is why we have no billing information set up. If you are at the overview level or campaign level, click the blue plus and let's get started. The first thing you need to do is select a goal that would make this campaign successful for you. Do you want to drive sales through your website? Do you want to generate leads or do you simply want to send traffic to your website? The choice is yours. In this case, let's go with lead generation. Here is where you are going to select your campaign type in order to set up your dynamic search ads. Now it's in the name, dynamic search ads. So you're going to select the search campaign type. Select the ways you would like to reach your goal. Website visits, phone calls, shop visits, app downloads, or lead form submissions. In this case, we want to send people to our website to fill in a contact us form. So we select website visits, now you need to put in your business's website or simply copy it from here. Then we will click continue. Now it's time to set up your campaign. The first thing you'll notice is the campaign name. Here is where you want to put in as much information as possible about your campaign. So we want people to fill in a contact us form. Leads is correct. We are targeting people in the UK and the campaign type is a DSA, dynamic search ad. So now at a top level, we know exactly what this campaign is doing. Next is the networks. We can decide if we want these ads to show in the Google search partners or be included in the Google display network. Here is some more information on the Google search and display network. Now, here is the most important part, which many people miss. If you click on show more settings, you will see below that here are the dynamic search ad settings. If you click the down arrow, you are then able to enter in your domain. Now, what this is going to do is target relevant searches automatically based on your website. Then use headlines automatically customized to people's actual searches. This setting determines what domain language and targeting source to use for your DSA. You can then click that up and it will remain there as you can see. Next is targeting and audiences. Here you need to select the location you want your ads to show up in. You can select the United Kingdom, which is automatically generated or you can enter in your own location. In this case, we're going to go with the UK. You can select your language and you can select a specific audience you want to target. You can click on browse and Google offers many different options to choose from. If you want to go based on someone's interests, you can click there and you can select from here. Using the audience section, you can build out specifically who you want to show your ads to and you can get as granular as you want. Next, is the budget and bidding section. You need to set a budget. Remember, this is your daily budget for the campaign. So if you have an overall monthly budget, you want to divide that by 30 to get the daily budget. Next is your bidding. You can select a bidding strategy from the drop down menu here. Conversions, conversion value, clicks, or impression share. Seeing as our goal is to drive leads, we will leave it as conversions. You can then also set a target cost per action. Target CPA, is a Google Ads smart bidding strategy that sets bids to help get as many conversions as possible at or below the target cost per action you set. It uses advanced machine learning to automatically optimize bids and offer auction time bidding capabilities that tailor bids for each and every auction. But this is just an option. Google recommends you add ad extensions to your campaign. These help you get up to 15% higher click-through rates by showing additional information on your ads. If you have already set up site links, callouts, or call extensions, you can add those later on to your campaign. 
or you can click the drop down and add new ones here. Here is an example of a few ad extensions, site links, callouts, and call extensions. You can click save and continue. Now we need to set up an ad group. Now, because we added our domain to the dynamic search ad settings, we are given an ad group type to select from standard, which is your standard search ads and dynamic. Selecting dynamic gives you a list of options of categories recommended for your website. You can select all by clicking the box here, or you can go through and specifically select the search volume that has been generated by Google. In this case, we want to select all categories and don't forget to give your ad group a recognizable name. If you are happy with the way you've set out your ad group, you can then click save and continue. Now we are going to create the ads that Google is going to use to drive people to your website. As you can see the landing page, the headline and the display URL is all dynamically generated. So unfortunately, we cannot see a preview of this. But when someone's search is related to one of your categories, Google automatically generates a headline and the landing page to be shown on the ad. When someone clicks on it, they'll be taken through the, to that landing page. All we need to do is add a description line one and a description line two. Once again, Google has automatically generated this for us. However, we can change this if we are not happy with it. In this case, I'm going to leave it as is. If you are happy with that, you can click done. Now your ad is being created. If you are happy with the way this is set up, you can click save and continue. In this section, it would say, congratulations, your campaign is ready. And you can preview your campaign and publish it. However, because we have not set up billing in our account, our campaign will not be able to run. And that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure you leave a like if you found this video helpful and be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Goodbye.